Dom, thank you for joining Between Two Wheels, where we talk about motorcycles and filmmaking. And uh, you you live now in Paris, but you used to live in New York. And back in the days in New York, you started a motorcycle group calling the New York Classic Riders. And uh, I was just wondering, how did you come up with the idea to start this community? Okay, well, well, first of all, uh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, uh, I'm trying to use my, uh, my, uh, my, my German roots here. Uh, but I was, I was on time, right? So you, you're see. perfect, like 10 seconds late, but that's fine. <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, so I'm actually physically now in Paris, France. Mm -hmm. I moved a few a few months ago, and as you mentioned, uh, I just returned from a long period uh, in the U.S. in New York, uh, mm -hmm. almost eight years, a bit more than eight years. Um, I actually uh, started a motorcycle community back in 2013, uh, without really knowing it somehow, but. Um, but it actually just started very simply where I got my U.S. driving license and, uh, and a motorcycle. Um, I had a couple of uh, friends, uh, French expats in, um, in New York who were also kind of looking to potentially ride. And so we kind of motivated like everyone. And I said, hey, like, you know, let's try to create a small group where we could kind of try to, you know, write together and exchange pictures or whatsoever. So we actually started like every weekend to, and we were at the beginning, like four or five people. So very, uh, a, a very small group. Um, cruising first uh, around like in, in New York City. Then we obviously realized that uh, riding in New York City is not the safest place, obviously. Uh, and we then started to go a bit more uh, further outside of the city. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, because I'm, I'm also a, 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 a photograph uh, a, a lover, I started to kind of uh, document all the rides and, and, and the, the, the thing we were doing and just flooding, you know, social media with, with just, you know, our pictures. And even if we were only three or four people, <laughs> uh, it, it was just like very big. And, and, and somehow, like, you know, people kind of like the, the group itself started to grow very, very, you know, uh, slowly at the beginning. We created a Facebook group where uh, we just, you know, shared our pictures and everything. Um, and the, this Facebook group started to grow uh, and it grew. It grew uh, months after months, year after years. And basically, like today, I think we, we, we are around 1,400, 1,400 people in New York City. Um, so... That all started with New York. Uh, myself being uh, French, but with a German mother, born in, in London in the UK, I've been traveling a lot. Uh, and, and for me, the world is actually my garden. Um, the, the, the idea I had was, well, you know, if this group, this concept of a motorcycle community, again, it's not a club, it's a community. We don't have chapters, we have cities. That's very important. Um, the, the, because this is working so well, uh, why not export this concept to other cities? Um, and when, when was that? Like three years ago, um, I actually started to export that concept of, uh, of, uh, of motorcycle community uh, up to the point where today we have around 35 cities in the world. Uh, which represents more or less 4,500 members with around 60 community leaders. Uh, and it actually goes from Anchorage to, uh, to Tokyo. So it's kind of very, very, very wide. Um, yeah, and, and the concept is actually really now being like a, an international network of local riding communities, nice. so to say. Okay. So, yeah, I mean... So many things mm -hmm. to say about that, but that's basically yeah, how it all started in New York City, a few friends and just, you know, growing, growing. And, and I guess back in the day, that was back in 2013. Uh, uh, and again, it was my first experience in the U.S. I mean, I've been obviously traveling to the U.S. before uh, uh, with my family and, and, and friends, etc., but never really kind of leaving. Uh, and I was not really too much aware of, you know, like the motorcycle scene. In the U.S., obviously, on the West Coast, you know, like, obviously, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of, uh, you see a lot of Harleys, a lot of people, you know, riding up. But on the, on the East Coast, uh, I was less familiar with, with this. And I kind of realized back then that, obviously, you, you wouldn't see 
a lot of motorcyclists on the roads uh, in New York City. And I thought, hmm, that's strange because obviously coming from Europe and, and, and Paris, a city where you have like uh, scooters and, and motorcycles everywhere, I kind of find, find it very strange. Um, I actually realized that there are a lot of motorcyclists out there in New York City. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you just don't see them riding in, the, in, 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 in town. Um, so, and, and, and basically the, 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 what we achieved with this community was really above uh, like the motorcycle thing, et cetera, was to really to create some kind of uh, 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 an environment where people would meet and share the same passion uh, around, uh, well, around motorcycle. And people that would have most probably never meet somewhere else in the city would kind of through motorcycle meet and, and, and build amazing uh, friendships. And that's how it all started. And that's still today, you know, the, the big motto is meet people, and enjoy uh, enjoy life on two wheels uh, with other people sharing the same love. Right, nice. Dom, um, so for the audience, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the question poll below. Uh, at the end, we're going through the questions. So Dom, one, what is your most memorable uh, memory uh, about New York classic riders or the classic riders itself? Oh man, I have so many, so many memories. Um, I mean, for me, the, 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 the biggest one and, and, and the largest one, and, and I guess you will, you will obviously recognize also uh, yourself there, was um, uh, the, the whole story with, uh, with Vincent. Um, and, uh, and I don't want to redo you know, the whole story, but uh, uh, in, in a very short uh, uh, terms, you know, a terrible accident uh, happened to one of our community members, Vincent, who. Uh, uh, who happens to be also uh, the most, the largest fundraiser at the DGR ever for a couple of years. Um, and what happened is like a terrible accident in his garage, long story short, big explosion, and the poor Vincent got uh, into hospital with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, big burns. Um, what happened is that the whole community, and not, not obviously not only the, the New York Classic Rider, but the whole motorcycle community in New York just kind of gathered, got together and just supported him in uh, in in this um, in this uh, in, in this experience so it's not really like something really specific to the new york classic riders but uh but we were all here and i think that that kind of really showed how how big and strong the motorcycle community in new york but again if this would have happened anywhere else in the world i guess you know the the the, the it would have been exactly the, the, the same. So super amazed by, uh, by this. Um, otherwise, I mean, kind of, I have so many great memories, like uh, rides that we organize, because again, the, the concept of, uh, and that's something I should have explained before, what we do, what, uh, uh, what we do in terms of activity is actually purely uh, riding. So we would actually, and back then when I started, I would actually ride every Saturday, every Sunday, and also once a week, so three times a week. Um, and we would just kind of go for the whole day outside, you know, the city. And, and we were doing that like every single day, uh, every single week, um, riding, riding. And that kind of gave, you know, people the, 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 the will to, to join the community and join a group so that they could actually go and ride. So it's really a riding group. Um, we also organize a lot of social events uh, once a month, uh, 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 what we call drinks and dinner. Um, again, don't drink and ride, uh, but Coke, uh, Coke, and, uh, Coke and Schnitzel event, uh, but um, where, where people would meet, people that would actually not have the opportunity to meet during a ride, could actually kind of also meet the, the rest of the community during, uh, during a, a social event. Mm -hmm. um, so why was I do, saying that? Oh yeah, and so I remember like one of the largest rides, so typically we would always kind of, at least in New York, uh, meet every, let's say, Saturday morning, uh, for a large ride, uh, either in, in different places, but usually we, we, we always go uh, in, in, the same, uh, in the same place. And I remember one ride where we were something like 45 riders. And that's where I kind of realized uh, that uh, first it was going big, <laughs> uh, but also, uh, well, that it was also kind of, well, you know, 
not dangerous, but you know, like you, you never know how uh, something like that can go. And so we 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 spent the whole day riding with those forty five people. Uh, it was an amazing experience, but I'm definitely not going to do <laughs> redo that again because it, it, it's very big. But that 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 was great. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, you um you already mentioned at the beginning that you have like. 30 plus cities uh, where classic riders is uh, uh, where where you can uh, where you can find them. So yeah. when people are interested to join a ride or get, joining the classic riders, uh, how can they do that? Okay, so the thing is, we are kind of very, and I believe the the success of um, of the the community is, believe it or not, uh, thanks to I believe I guess Facebook. Because uh, the way we actually started, um, at least in New York, was with a Facebook group, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, this Facebook group, Facebook is, you know, you can like or hate the tool. It is what it is. Most most people have an, a, a, Facebook, a Facebook account, and it's kind of very easy, you know, to share pictures and, and join groups, join, you know, like pages whatsoever. So um, today, the, the way we, we operate is still a bit, I would say, old school, um, we have, so let's say 35 communities, mm -hmm. which basically translate in 35 local Facebook groups. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a 36, which is the classic rider one, which is the global one uh, that allow people to kind of from different communities to meet. Because um, I, uh, I kind of try to keep, you know, the people of New York in the New York group and the people of Paris and etc but they can all meet through the, the, the Classic Riders group. And, and typically, um, if someone wants to join, uh, it has to go through this Facebook group. Uh, okay. it's, it's a way for uh, us, and I'm talking on behalf of the, the community leaders, uh, and I'm gonna explain you how, you know, how the organization work, but uh, it, it allows you know, the community leaders to kind of you know, make sure you know, that the, 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 the people uh, you know, fit our mindset and, and that there's no spammers or kind of whatsoever. And, and it also allows us to kind of count the number of people we are in the community and have a direct contact with them. Um, obviously, uh, so if someone wants to join, uh, the easiest way is to go on our website, which is mm -hmm. www.nyclassicwriters.com, which we just rebuilt completely. You just select your city. And on the CD, you have a link that sends you directly to the Facebook group uh, of the city you are uh, interested in. Um, so usually that's basically the way we, uh, we can, uh, you can join the, the community. Mm -hmm. um, once you are in, obviously we have Instagram accounts. We have, we have one large Slack account. Uh, we used to work with, uh, with WhatsApp as a, as a tool to kind of uh, exchange, but uh, WhatsApp has these limitations. So we just launched a, a, a really cool Slack uh, channel with, uh, for every single community uh, in the world, which allows people to kind of interact together. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's something you get once you are part of the community. So again, nothing really crazy to, you just have to reply to three questions that, I've, uh, that are asked to you when you join the, the community. And that's it. You just need to be a cool guy willing, you know, to ride. And, and that's pretty much it. You know? <laughs> There's nothing, nothing bad. Do the people need to have, a, uh, have to have a classic bike? And are there any kind of payments, monthly payments? How, how, you, how do you do that? No, I mean, the, 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 the community, the, the New York classic, uh, the classic riders communities, because uh, we have a lot now, are uh, obviously first completely free. There's no, 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 no subscription, no whatsoever. It's purely, you know, you are here, you meet people and, and that's pretty much it, completely free. In terms of, um, and to, to give you some insight on where, you know, the word classic came from is back then, back in 2013, when we, uh, when, when I started the, the, the New York community, I had a, a Triumph Bonneville. Uh, I actually thought it would be cool to kind of gather all the Triumph uh, fanatics into a group. And I say, okay, I'm going to call this group New York Classic Riders. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I moved to R90. Uh, uh, at the end of the day, people are uh, drive, riding whatever they want. You know, uh, the, the whole community turned more into uh, a community of uh classic riders in the sense of you have to be classic in the mindset to be a real gentleman not a, a not a, a a bad guy and and just be gentle and that's basically what uh, what we are we are promoting um yeah so no real specification obviously 
uh, triumph or you know has a lot of uh, 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 most probably like uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, major take in uh, in uh, in the motorcycle uh, industry so you know one out of uh, three motorcycle or four motorcycle is most probably a triumph so at the end of the day <laughs> it, it, it will never turn into a, 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 a a group with only uh, sports bikes, but uh, yeah. no, it, it, we are really open and, and that's cool. Again, as long as you're cool and you have the right mindset, it's all good. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Tom. I have prepared some pictures that I'm showing here. Uh, can yeah. you go through some of them and you can uh, give some insight about it, comment them? Sure. Uh, so I guess this is EGR. Okay, uh, that was. I have to get closer to, to the, <laughs> this. Uh, that's one of the many GGR that we did. Uh, okay. No no particular other memories on this one. Okay. Uh, what's about that one? The uh, this this one is, I believe, Quito in mm -hmm. uh, Ecuador. DGR in uh, Quito, Ecuador from uh, uh, our, uh, our community there. Yeah. Very, very cool picture. What about those two gentlemen? <laughs> so those one are our, uh, our, uh, so, you know, in each community we have stars, you know, we have like, <laughs> you know, the guy that you can't miss it. You can't miss. This is uh, Alberto and Z. Uh, well, what else can you say? You know, those are basically uh, the, the, the first members of the, of the community. Um, mm -hmm. And they are still here and they're still sharing, you know, their, their love for motorcycle and, I just love them. I just pass by, uh, uh, just say a big hi to, to them. Uh, I really meet them uh, as yeah, well. Yeah. Cool guys, yeah. And I see you as well on the, on the back on this bike. Where was that? So the story of this one, um, so, so this is our friend Yanis, uh, also a first, uh, a first, an early member of the community. That was at the DGR, uh, the DGR in September. So for the short, for, for the short story, I was behind Yanis. Uh, because I just sold, I, was, I just sold my uh, R90, I had a, a R90 just before, and that was just like a few weeks, maybe two weeks before I moved back to Paris. So mm -hmm. I had to be at the DGR. I just didn't have any bike, and mm -hmm. Yanis was uh, cool enough to uh, to get me into uh, in the back of, of his bike. Yeah. By the way, DGR, um, the the classic riders they funding a lot of money each year. Do you have uh, roughly the number in mind? How much? Uh, sure. Made it already. Sure. So we we actually started. I mean, I personally started to follow the DGR. I think they started back in 2012. That was yeah. We started 2013. Um, in for the past at least three or four years, uh, mm -hmm. the New York classic riders as a community, because you, you know how it works on the, and I guess we don't need to explain to the, to the audience what the DGR is, but it's in short term a fundraising for men's disease, uh, where in September we do a huge ride and you just raise funds for uh, prostate cancer and mental illness and, and all uh, very important uh, 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 men's diseases. But long mm -hmm. story short, um, you can obviously, if you are more than one person, in the in the uh, on the website you can build groups and uh, we actually build a New York Classic Riders group. This group for the past uh, three or four years has been one of the first and I would say I say one of the first in terms of fundraising because the first one were the big corporation like Triumph, like Zenit, um, etc. But we were always behind them in terms of how much money we actually raised as a community. Um, we actually raised last year around i think it was seventy thousand uh, dollars for new york alone which was uh, simply amazing um i have to say obviously that vincent uh, and we mentioned vincent earlier during the, the discussion is was and is, is still one of the main contributors uh to this so a big hat uh, uh, to, to vincent um last year so that was two years ago last year uh, what we did is we actually decided through with the 20 with out of the 35 communities we had uh, 25 communities created their own group and mm -hmm. if you would have added up all the money that each of the classic riders communities have raised we were close to a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars so 
the amazing thing here, and again, is to show, you know, how great, you know, a, a, a motorcycle community can be. We discussed earlier about uh, 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 getting all together for someone in pain who, 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 who is going through something difficult times. It's also uh, great to see that, you know, a community can get together to fight a common cause, which is way bigger, uh, like, you know, prostate cancer, for example, and, and see that, uh, a couple of people around the world can just like this come up with a hundred thousand dollars as a as a mm -hmm. funding, which is yeah. just breathtaking. Yeah, wow, and it's uh, it's great like using the, the group and the people for this good cause. Dom, um, I think we're getting to the end, and I would like to wrap up the interview. Can you please give uh, the audience uh, again the information where they can find more about the classic riders, where they can sign up, and uh, where they actually can join the rides? Sure. So, so very shortly, I mean, the main entry point to the community is our website, mm -hmm. www.nyclassicriders.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you will find here like a recap of every single community we have. So just select your city and go through the, follow the links and just go and find the Facebook group. If you don't have Facebook, I know it's terrible, but I guess it's easy. <laughs> Some people just created a Facebook account just, you know, to be able to join the ride. I know it's not great. Um, I, I have a plan for next year to, um, I mean, this year. I mean, I have a lot of time right now to think about the whole thing with, with the confinement, uh, but I have many ideas to, to make, um, to, to make uh, uh, this community in terms of tool easier to manage and to try. But right now, it is what it is. It's Facebook, so just join, uh, join the community through the Facebook group. And once you are there, um, each community is managed by a community leader, one or several community leaders. In New York, uh, we have five different community leaders who are taking care of the 1,400 people in New York in the group. They are the one organizing the rides, the, the events, etc., etc. Um, they would always post either on the Facebook group uh, a message saying, hey guys, the ride this week is going to be there and with all the information or on the Slack channel that I mentioned before. So to get access to the Slack ah, channel, you first have to be part of the, um, uh, of the Facebook group to, uh, to get that. But everything starts with Facebook. I love it or not, but that's, that's how, <laughs> how it is. Awesome, Tom. Thank you so much for the interview. Please stay safe and Thanks. happy. And uh, Thanks for having me. Bye-bye.